bad one. Look at the colors, how pretty that thing is. Beautiful fish. These are stocked fish. All right, trout are really easy to clean. Basically, I'll just cut the head off here. Just come right behind kind of where that fin is. Make a line, cut it there. And then right in by the anal fins, you'll slide your knife and slit it right up. So you just come right here. Just cut it clean off. Anal fin. Cut right there. See your guts. Innards come right out. And you kind of got that little film in there with the bloodline. You just cut it out. Rinse it good. And then I just take the back of my knife and kind of get any scales. They're not that big a deal. They, on the inside part, we're going to take butter. This is cold butter. If you got warm, you can kind of smear it around. It doesn't really matter, though. Break it up. Get it down inside their cavity. It kind of helps when, you're, when it's in the smoker, especially if you're grilling it. It just helps it kind of give it look not quite get as dry which for the about a tablespoon probably use a little bit less i might have went a little bit over on it then you use salt pepper garlic just mix it all together kind of i did got a little cayenne in there also because a little bit spicy and on both of them good down in the butter so it kind of hopefully soaks into the meat a little bit.
just like that. All right, we got it set at 165, which is as low as it goes. We're gonna try to smoke it for probably an hour and a half. We'll check it. It might have to go two hours, but uh, we just want it good and good and flaky where it'll fall apart in the dip, and uh, we'll see how it goes. about a little over an hour and a half I think they look about perfect we'll uh, take them off let them cool a little bit then strip all the meat off so let it cool a little bit see the skin will just kind of peel off and once you get it out just peel the skin back and keep meat off the skin and then just pull it off the bones try not to get any bones in there Tastes amazing. Taste the spices I put in it. The meat strip, you just want to kind of pick through it while you're tearing it apart into small pieces and make sure you don't have any more bones in there. You don't want bones in it. You ever see there's just little tips. And once it's all clean, yeah, they're a little one too. Some of them are pretty small. And then you add cream cheese. This is kind of always the hard part because I don't like a ton of it. I just want the flavor of the fish and all that, but I'm gonna start with that much. There, about a half a block. And then just kind of start chopping it and mixing it and seeing how it works. Probably help if you took it out of the fridge a little while before soften it up a little bit then I'm gonna add some jalapenos and minced them almost like a relish it's pretty good right there you see the consistency you see it's mostly fish and just basically cream cheese binding it Got the jalapenos mixed in I'm gonna grab a couple crackers and try it Well, thank you. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe.